These two things will help you make beats faster, using templates and using loops. There you go. What's up everybody? Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. Starting with tip number one, using templates. Using templates can greatly improve your workflow, make you more efficient in the studio, and just help you get your ideas out faster. You'll already have most of your plugins ready, your drums are ready to go, all of the settings are tweaked to how you want, and it's just a good foundation to start on rather than starting on a fresh, blank, canvas. In my experience, when working with other artists in the studio, if we're cooking up from scratch, it's, it makes the process so much faster. I can start a vibe a lot quicker and it just makes it more efficient because if I, if I didn't have my drums already picked out and sounds already picked out, then I'd still have to go through sounds, drum loops, uh, VSTs, and all of that takes a little bit of time, but it adds up. But if you already have most of that stuff loaded and you open your DAW, then you can quickly get to an idea, start messing around with different um, chord progressions or different kinds of drums. It just makes the studio experience with the art other artists more fruitful and you guys get more things done and it's just a better time. I'm gonna show you how I make my template in Ableton. Um, I know some of you don't use Ableton, so I've linked how to do this or a similar way to do this in your DAW down in the description. So check for your DAW or just watch me make mine. So first I'll throw in a drum rack, then I'll add my favorite kick, snare, and hi-hats. That way I can quickly make a drum pattern and you can always switch the drums out after once you have the pattern. Then I'll throw an EQ on my kick and EQ it usually how I like. Throw on one knob fatter, then throw on some saturation. Then I'll throw an EQ on my snare and EQ it the way I usually like, like to EQ it. And then I'll add a little bit of reverb. Then I'll go ahead and make a drum pattern um, to get the drums at the level that I want. And if you want each drum sound separately, all you have to do is go to the drum rack and then right click all of the elements that you want in its own. Uh, file like if I wanted the kick in its own uh, MIDI file, then I'll just right click the kick and then press extract chains Shout out to the homies that showed me how to do that. Thank you guys very much Save me a bunch of time then I'll throw in addictive keys for my main chord progression And then I'll throw in massive and use a synth for my lead synth melody and then obviously adjust uh, the levels of those two to how I like. Then I'll throw a limiter on my master channel, but I'll turn it off and won't turn it on until I have my beat pretty much finished and leveled to how I like. I don't like to add the limiter until later, but I do like to have it already in the master channel um, so I don't have to look for it later. Now I'm gonna save this as my default template. I'm gonna click Live, Preferences, Files and Folder, and save current set as default. Now all of these elements are enough for me to start a groove and to get an idea out. Obviously, if you wanna add more VSTs to your template, you can, or if you wanna take things out. Moving on to tip number two, using loops or MIDI files, whether it be from sounds.com, splice.com, internet money's website, vibes website, my website, wherever you get your loop, your loops from. Now, some of you are like, oh, but you're using other people's work to make your own beat. That's not really creating. You're not really being creative. You're not making your own thing from scratch, uh, blah, blah, blah. This is just a suggestion. If you don't like using loops or MIDI files, you don't have to. If you wanna make stuff from scratch and go to uh, Guitar Center and buy all your equipment and just record everything because you like it to sound organic or however you like, then do that. I don't bash how other people make music. I'm just giving suggestions to other producers that want alternatives. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you how to use loops to your advantage. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use drum loops from my newest drum loop pack called Payback and samples from my sample kit called DeLorean. DeLorean. Drum loop. Let's do that one. Speed it up.
Cool. Let's see what else we can make. Let's do that one. Ah, okay, let's speed this up. Cool, let's find another one. Uh, let's see if we can come up with one more. Let's go back through this. Um, let's find a drum loop. Okay. So right there, I just came up with three different ideas. Uh, we could run through those, and if I'm with an artist and they like one of those ideas, then uh, if we wanna go further into arranging, then I can just go through the stem files of the sample and the drum loop, throw the stems in, mix it accordingly, structure it out, and have an entire song quickly made and structured. And I just think that's a lot more efficient uh, running through different ideas rather than just working super hard for like an hour on one loop that might not work. I just think it's a lot better to have a bunch of different ideas and then that way you can choose which one you wanna dive into. And then if you get tired of that idea, then you have a bunch of other ideas that you can go into and... And that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy and found some value in this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. So yeah, the two tips that I gave in today's video are number one, making a template, and number two, using loops and midis. So yeah, I'm super excited to finally uh, release this drum loop kit for you guys. A lot of you guys have been requesting for it, and I'm very proud of how flexible the drum loop kit is. All of the MIDI files are included and all of the stem files are included so you can mix it and switch up the drums however you like. Um, and they're all 100% royalty free. So if you're interested in purchasing my newest drum loop kit called Payback, it is linked in the description or you can visit chrispunsalon.com. Question of the day. What are some topics that you'd like me to speak on in a future video? Let me know in the comments below and also leave your IG or Twitter handle somewhere in the comments so I can reach out to you if you won today's video giveaway. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Please pay your producers and I'll see you guys in the next video.